Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I went to a used bookstore yesterday. It's my favorite bookstore on the planet. It's called McKay's Used Bookstore. I'm gonna quickly go through this uh, stash and I'll also list the prices that I got everything for because I'm quite proud of my thrifty ways. The first one I'm gonna talk about is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. This is a thriller and this copy is actually from the Book of the Month Club. Uh, I got this for $3.19, which is a steal. Not really sure what this one is about, but it's been going around YouTube for a while. Uh, this author also wrote Final Girls, which is another thriller slasher type thing. I believe I started that one on audio maybe over the summer and only got a little bit in and then moved on to something else. I don't remember why, but yeah, I want to read this one. This next one is another thriller called House of Echoes by Brandon, Brendan Duffy. This was $1.60. Um, and from what I gather, this is about a family that inherits some land, um, like kind of in the woods, I guess, in New York. And they come to discover that maybe the land is haunted or weird things are going on on the property. Uh, that's all I know of it. But I do love a good haunted tale and I do love things set in the woods. And I love this cover. So there you go. This next one is another thriller called The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen, I think. This one was $2.99. Uh, this one I'm guessing is about some sort of affair type situation. Not really sure. Uh, the inside flap says basically there's going to be lots of twists and turns and you're going to be making assumptions but they're going to be wrong. So yeah, sounds good. This next one, I'm not sure if it's a thriller or a mystery, but it is some sort of historical fiction. And it's basically about uh, one of the crimes that happens in Scotland Yard is involved. Um, I love anything set in Scotland. I love uh, Victorian stories, and this is all of those things. It was only $1.23. I've never heard of it. Oh, I don't think I said the name. The Yard by Alex Grecian. Uh, so yeah, I've never heard of it. Don't know if it's any good. Let me know if you've read it. This one is another mystery. It's called Bryant and May and the Bleeding Heart by Christopher Fowler. This one has something to do with uh, maybe like supernatural elements. Somebody is seen raising, rising from the graves in a cemetery and these two detectives are sent to investigate. So there you go. Uh, I feel like I've read something by Christopher Fowler in the past. That name really rings a bell with me. Can't remember what it was, but hopefully this is good. Oh, and that one only cost $1.40. This one is a uh, scary ghost story, I believe. Um, it's called Ash by James Herbert. It was $2.46. This one is set in a castle in Scotland where a paranormal investigator uh, goes to investigate some scary things that are happening. Uh, that's about all I know. But when I open up the front cover, the first sentence is what really got me. It said, set high on a craggy cliff top on the wind battered western coast of Scotland is a remote secluded ancient castle. A castle that holds secrets that would shake the world if they were ever revealed. Sounds good to me. The next one's called The Loney. I keep wanting to say The Lonely, but it's The Loney by Andrew Michael Hurley. This one is, maybe this is a mystery or a thriller, I'm not quite sure, but it's set in an English coastal town where this boy's parents go to visit there to find some kind of cure for his disabled brother. And then they get entangled in some dangerous rituals. And years later, there's a child found during a storm and the boy is forced to reckon with things that happened in the past. So yeah, that's what this one is. I pretty much read the whole bag. This book was $3.19. Uh, if you read this one, let me know. I picked up Thinner by Stephen King, writing as Richard Bachman. Uh, this was only $2.25. I feel like I've read this book in the past. Uh, I read a lot of Stephen King when I was a teenager and in my early 20s, but that was like 20 years ago. So sometimes I get a little shady on which books I've read and which ones I haven't, but I really think I have read this one. But I'm pretty sure this is about a guy who um, 
gets in trouble with a gypsy and she curses him and he becomes thinner like sickingly thinner but yeah i'm pretty sure i liked this and i wanted to reread it so now i have it i grabbed flowers in the attic by vc andrews uh this one was two dollars and fifty cents and again i really like this cover i really lucked out with a lot of these book covers this time this was hugely popular when i was a kid i had a lot of friends who read the flowers in the attic series uh there's a bunch of books that are involved with this but i personally never read them at the time uh but this is one of the books on cammy's harrowing horror book list so um it's going to come up at some point where this is the book that we're supposed to read for that month and i will have it so yeah looking forward to getting in this one i heard it's really um disturbing i guess is the word um don't really know what it's about but yeah i'm looking forward to it i grabbed the omen by david seltzer uh, I actually didn't know that this was a book. I've seen the movie when I was a kid, when I shouldn't have seen it, but um, I don't remember much about it. But I feel like this is a story about uh, this boy being the Antichrist, if I remember correctly. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty short book, and there are some pictures in here from the movie. So yeah, I think I like the movie. I do like stories about kids that are all messed up, so yeah gonna be reading that one soon oh I forgot to say how much it cost this one was three dollars and 36 cents this next one is called the traveling vampire show by Richard Lehman um, he's a pretty famous horror writer although I haven't read anything from him yet uh, this was two dollars and 94 cents uh, one of the blurbs on the back of here says if you liked something wicked this way comes then you will really like this one and I I'm a huge fan of Ray Bradbury. Haven't read Something Wicked This Way Comes, but it is on my list for this year to get to. Uh, but yeah, I am excited for this. This one I was really glad to find. Uh, this has been on my list of books that I really wanted to read for years, ever since I read The Hunger Games, you know, 100 years ago. This one is Battle Royale. Um, it was $1.87, and it is by Kushin, Tak Kushin Takami. Yeah, this one I've heard is similar to Hunger Games, as in it's a group of kids who get thrown into, you know, some kind of arena setting and are forced to murder each other. Uh, I was a huge fan of Hunger Games, and so I feel like I'm really going to love this one too. I've heard this one is more gruesome. So yeah, I am thrilled to have found this one, especially with this cover, and this book is in great condition. Uh, the spine isn't even cracked. And for this price, $1.87? Like, really? All right, got a couple more. Uh, I picked up Peter Straub's Ghosts. This one looks like it is a uh, ghost short story collection. I've actually never read anything by Peter Straub either, so uh, when I saw this, I was pretty thrilled. I do love a good ghost story. This one was $2.40. Hopefully, it's scary. I picked up two books by Bernard Taylor. I saw Alex from Hey Little Thrifter talking about uh, Sweetheart Sweetheart, this one on her channel, and she said she really loved this book. So I have been on the hunt for it ever since. This was $1.89. Pretty sure she said this is some kind of ghost story. I don't remember the exact details, but she really did love it, and I trust her judgment. So yeah, I picked up this one. And besides that one, I grabbed another one by him called Madeline. Madeline. Um, this says a novel of unholy obsession. This was $2.35. And I don't know if you can tell, but the cover has like a girl's face and kind of like a skeleton's face mixing in with hers. And I just thought that looked pretty cool. So I grabbed it. I don't know if Alex has read this one also. I'll have to ask her. But yeah, I am happy to have found these. This one is Suffer the Children by John Saul. And I'm not sure, but I feel like this is another one on the Harrowing Horror book list. I feel like that's where I've seen this name before. This one was only 75 cents. It's not in the best condition, but you can't beat 75 cents. And I, I don't think I've seen this book anywhere else. This one has something to do with children dying and disappearing in a town and something like evil history repeating itself. 
Uh, don't know much about it, but just the name alone and the picture of the creepy doll on the cover. Yeah, it should be pretty scary. So, yep, looking forward to reading that for Harrowing Horror. Pretty sure it's on that list. I also grabbed this one, which might be nonfiction. I'm not entirely sure what kind of book this is, but it's called Varla Ventura's Paranormal Parlor, Ghost Seances and Tales of True Hauntings. I'm all about weird and creepy stuff, especially things that happened in the past like this. So this just looked really good to me, so I picked it up. Uh, this next one is called Sleeping with the Lights On, uh, An Unsettling Story of Horror. And this book I just thought was really pretty with this cover like this. And this goes through um, monsters, the, cult, the occult and supernatural, horror and the body, um, horror and the mind, science and horror. So just a bunch of different kinds of horror. So I guess, again, this is a nonfiction type book, but all about horror. Um, but yeah, I love how this book looks. I just think it's really pretty and really cool. And this was only $4. And this next one will totally make sense if you guys have been following me on Twitter or Instagram because I cannot stop talking about this. Uh, but I got this book called The Truth Is In Here, The Unexplained, An Illustrated Guide to the World's Natural and Paranormal Mysteries. Uh, I have become completely enamored with The X-Files, cannot get enough of it. I watched it when it was originally on TV back when I was in high school. Uh, but I don't remember a whole lot about it and I wasn't a conspiracy nut at the time, but I kind of am now. Uh, nothing really phases me. Nothing shocks me. Uh, a lot of these stories that I hear on X-Files, I'm like, yep, that seems legit. I totally believe that. So <laughs> that's where I'm at in my life now. But this book is kind of like a coffee table book. Um, it has some really cool pictures and it just talks about all kinds of weird stuff like the stories that they talk about on X-Files. Um, there's a whole section in here with like cryptids. There's, there you go, there's Bigfoot right there. Um, you know, there's aliens in here and just strange, strange things. So yeah, um, this one was only $3.20 and I am so happy to have this because this is my life now. Okay, and the last thing that I'm going to mention is DVDs, and you will not be surprised when you see this, but I got X-Files Season 1, The Collector's Edition. I got Season 2, which is not The Collector's Edition, but it's the only one that they had. And I also picked up Season 4. They didn't have Season 3. I got everything they had. Uh, this one is still sealed, brand new, and it was originally from Best Buy for $97, and I got it for $10. bucks. i am pretty sure all of these books cost me about $35, adding in the DVDs it was a bit more, but the books alone were about $35. Bucks. You cannot beat that. Uh, I love used bookstores. I love thrift stores. I rarely buy new books as they're coming out because I'm so spoiled on shopping for things used and the prices that I can get for them used. So a lot of the things I end up reading tend to be more obscure and older, but hey, that's what happens when you're cheap like me. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys have read any of these, if you have a favorite out of the ones that I showed, let me know that down in the comments. Uh, I hope you all have a great week and I will see y'all later. Bye.